Hi there, it's Stephen again from York Region uh, and St. John Ambulance. Uh, we're just kind of touring around all the different vehicles here at the uh, Inner City uh, Conference. Um, King uh, Fire and Emergency Services is a really interesting unit you gotta check out. Uh, it simulates fire and uh, Shelly's gonna give us a tour. So let's go take a look. Hi Shelly, you here? Hi. Hi Shelly, how you doing? Okay. Do you want to give us a tour of what, what this is all about? Sure, come on in. Okay. So welcome to our safety trailer. It's a great interactive tool that we can take to schools, to libraries, um, for people of all ages, children, right up to senior citizens. There are two rooms to the safety trailer. The first one here is the kitchen. And um, actually unattended cooking is the number one cause of house fires in Ontario. So um, we have a few hazards set up here, but we really encourage people to stay in the kitchen when they're cooking. Um, we have lots of catchy phrases like watch what you eat, uh, look what you cook. If you are in the kitchen and you're cooking and you still have a fire on the stove top, it's a good idea to always have a lid that fits the pan you're cooking with. You would just slide it across, turn off the stove and wait. Uh, you're not gonna take a peek because fire likes air and that would make the fire spread. We wouldn't want to pick that pan up because whatever's in there could be hot, we could drop it, and we certainly don't want to put it in the sink because if there's oil in this pan and there's water in the sink, that could make uh, the fire explode and, and expand. So always stay in the kitchen when you're cooking and have a lid handy. Um, we have a few other hazards set up in this kitchen um, that are not electronic. We have a paper towel too close to a heat source. We have, Big no no, right? Yeah, so we remove that out of the way. Uh, we have a lighter within reach of young children. That's not safe either. This is what the children see when they're down here. Yeah, something bright and colorful. Yeah. Uh, that should be up high in a cabinet, preferably locked. Uh, this pot handle, we all remember this. We want to make sure uh, we cook with the handle to the side. If you have really young children, use the back burners. Okay. We also have a candle too close to a curtain, so we want to make sure that that's uh, out of the way. And then we do have um, here we do have child locks. Yeah, it's it's adult locks. <laughs> <laughs> but we have some chemicals there, so if we're teaching um, maybe teens that are going to be babysitting, it's really important, obviously, to have those uh, cleaning products and that under lock and key. So that's a whole resource site. This in here you can teach a lot of children all the different safety things. Exactly. Now what happens if our if our oven catches on fire? Can okay. you simulate that for yeah, us? Yeah, we certainly can. So if you were to have an oven fire, just do this. Um, we'd ask people, you know, what would you do? And the right answer is you could just turn off the stove. The wrong answer is open it because then it uh, the fire spreads. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Right, I'm going off. <laughs> Now we can also use that uh, stove top simulation with our, uh, our fire extinguisher. Now this is not a real fire extinguisher, it's just for demo purposes, but we would teach people to remember the word pass. Uh, the P stands for pull the pin, so you pull the P, uh, pin out. The A stands for aim, uh, so you would aim it at the fire. The first S is squeeze, and the second S is squeeze. So you go back and forth. And this is actually, um, I'll actually, I can demonstrate that. Yeah, can you again. show us how it works? Yeah. So I'm going to start that pretend fire again. This is really cool. Okay, so I pulled the pan. I'm aiming. I squeeze. It is one of our first days on Periscope, thank you very much, so we're getting used to it, and it's, it's Shelly's first time ever. Yes, yes. So. <laughs> All right, so in the bedroom area, we talk about having a homescape plan. Um, we tell people that um, it's very important, obviously, to have working smoke alarms. We need to have a smoke alarm on every level of our house, especially outside sleeping areas. Uh, again, if we 
you were to have small children in here, we'd say if you hear your smoke alarm, it's important to get low and go. Um, and actually, we can, we can, I can, um, sorry, we can do the smoke alarm this evening. So smoke alarm's going off. Yeah. We're in the kids' room. Now, if the door is closed, and it's really important, actually, that you have the door closed uh, when you're sleeping, there's evidence that shows that by having the door closed, that can help uh, give you extra time and protect you from the heat rains and smoke. But let's say you've got your door closed. We don't want to just open it. We want to carefully feel the door first. And this door does heat up. It's a simulation. It but does get warm. Feel the heat off yes. The door. Yeah, it can get quite warm. And um, we can actually bring in some smoke underneath. This takes a little bit. Okay. This and it's going out to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we've got our door open, but there is smoke. I'll show you. It's coming through here. All right. That's really neat. And so the children or the grown-ups, we could put a towel underneath, and then obviously you would get to your window where you could be breathing fresh air and you could say, firefighters, we're over here. Okay, that's awesome. And obviously we have to have our escape route. Yes, you should advance. have a meeting spot um, outside your front yard because that's where the fire trucks are going to show up. Um, the tree is a great example of a meeting spot. If you live in the country and have a mailbox down by the end of your driveway, spot. And once again, it should be outside your front yard. All right, thank you so much, Shelley. Thank you. Shelley with the King Fire Emergency Services. Uh, you can find them on Twitter and join them. And uh, we're going to just take a look on the outside. Thank you very much. Thank you.